Libby loves science. States of matter. Tomorrow, a new student is joining our class, said Libby's science teacher, Mr. Darwin. Her, fr her name is Fatima. Libby raised her hand. Let's throw a welcome party for her, she said. That's a great idea, said Mr. Darwin. Libby and her friends were excited to meet Fatima. I can make a welcome sign, said Finn. I can get decorations, Rosa said. I can bring ingredients for ice cream sundaes, said Libby. The next morning, Libby grabbed sprinkles, gummy bears, cookies, and marshmallows from the kitchen cabinet. She packed up whipped cream, ice cream, and chocolate chip. Libby's mother drove her to school. Don't forget to put the ice cream in the freezer, Libby's mother said. I won't. Libby jumped out of the car. Bye, Mom. Libby raced into school with a bag full of fun ingredients. She couldn't wait. Libby and her friends decorated the classroom for the welcome party. They hung up the sign. They strung the streamers. Libby put her bag on the floor and set out all the Sunday toppings on the table. The new student arrived just after the bell rang. Everyone, this is Fatima, said Mr. Darwin. Hi, Fatima, they all said together. Fatima smiled and sat down next to Libby. Is it time for the party, Finn asked. Why don't we do some science first, said Mr. Darwin. I love science, Fatima said. Me too, Libby said. Science is the best. Today, we will learn about the different states of matter, Mr. Darwin said. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Mr. Darwin pointed to the board. There are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. My dog has gas, Finney said. Everyone laughed, even Mr. Darwin. Mr. Darwin got some ice from the freezer. Let's start with solids, he said. A solid is something that keeps its shape, such as this ice. Or that microscope, said Libby, pointing. Or a pencil, Rosa said, holding hers up. Or my chair, said Fatima. Finn raised his hand. Does that mean everything in the classroom is a solid? Yes, except for anything that is a liquid or a gas, Mr. Darwin explained. Mr. Darwin filled a glass with water. A liquid is anything that flows freely and doesn't have a shape, he said. So it takes a, the shape of its container. See how this water is now the shape of the glass? Water is a liquid. Is milk a liquid? Rosa asked. Is juice? Fatima asked. Is oil? Libby asked. Yes. Those are all liquids too, said Mr. Darwin. Now let's talk about gas, said Mr. Darwin. Remember, liquids flow freely and take the shape of a container. A gas is, has no shape and flows freely, but unlike a liquid, it expands to fill all of the container it is in. Mr. Darwin held up a jar. You can't see it, but this jar is filled with air. That means oxygen is gas, Fatima said. Right, said Mr. Darwin. And nitrogen, said Finn. Right again, said Mr. Darwin. Air is made up of nitrogen and oxygen. The three states of matter are amazing, said Libby. Does anyone have any questions? Mr. Darwin asked. Fatima raised her hand. 
is there anything that can be all three states at different times? Great question, said Mr. Darwin. Any guesses? I know, Libby exclaimed. Water. It can be ice, water, and steam. You got it, Mr. Darwin. Mr. Darwin checked the clock. Before we go to recess, what are the three states of matter called again? He said. Solid, liquid, and gas. The class said together. Is everyone ready for Fatima's welcome party? Mr. Darwin asked after recess. Yes, Libby and her friend yelled. I'm definitely ready for some ice cream sundaes, Finn said. Me too, said Libby. She went to get the ice cream out of the bag on the floor. Libby opened the container and saw the ice cream had melted. Oh no, Libby said. I forgot to put the ice cream in the freezer. Rosa looked at the milky mess. It was a solid, but that is definitely a liquid now. What will we have as a special treat? Finn asked. Mr. Darwin, do you have anything else we can use? asked Libby. I have hot chocolate mix, said Mr. Darwin. Yum, that's perfect, Miss Libby said. Mr. Darwin made hot chocolate for everyone. Libby pointed at the steam coming from her mug. Hey, this steam is a gas, Mr. Darwin nodded. That's right. Rosa dumped marshmallows in her cup. These are solid, she said. Finn looked at his mug, and this cocoa is a liquid. Those are three states of matter, Fatima said. Solid, liquid, and gases are everywhere. Look, Rosa said, my marshmallows are melting. They are turning into a liquid, said Fatima. That gave Libby an idea. What if we cool down the hot chocolate and add toppings to make a special cocoa surprise, she said. Fatima nodded. We can use ice to cool it, she said. Then the toppings won't melt, added Finn. That's a great idea, said Rosa. Mr. Darwin handed out ice cubes. Everyone dropped ice into their hot chocolate and waited for it to cool. Now for the toppings, Slippy said. Rosa used tons of sparkles. Finn added gummy bears and cookie crumbles. Fatima made a whipped cream mountain covered with marshmallows and chocolate chips. Libby used a little bit of everything. This is awesome, Fatima said. Welcome to our school, said Libby. The special cocoa treat were delicious. The welcome party was a big success. Best of all, Libby had a new friend who loved science as much as she does. She did. As much as she did. Having fun with states of matter. Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? Cloud. What state of matter is that? Rain. What state of matter is that? A dog. What state of matter is that? A book. What state of matter is that? Glossary. Gas. A substance that has no set shape and fills up its entire container. Gases can be invisible. Liquid flows freely and takes shape of its container. Matter, anything that takes up space and has mass. Solid, something that has a def definite shape. And volume, 
state. The condition that something is in at a specific time Thank you very much for joining me today in reading Libby Loves Science, States of Matter. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.